Thrift Store Hacker back again, and I'm working on my modular 7S battery setup here using 18650 batteries. I mentioned in the last video I got these four slot 18650 holders that are not connected to each other, so you can wire them independently. And as you saw in the last video, I just put a bar across here and a bar across here so I can get 3.7 volts. So that would be like a, uh, this alone would be like a 1S 4P battery, and we're making a 7S 4P uh, setup here. And I was going to do a bit more of this on video, but I, it was late at night, and I just kind of got going in the, uh, in the workshop and got this wired up. Let me zoom in a little bit, and I'll show you how the wiring works. Now, we know all these are going to be 3.7 volt packs. Uh, you know, the LiPo battery runs between, what, 3.2 and 4.2 volts total. But this is our positive lead right here coming out of the battery. So you can see I have the red wire. I even put some uh, surgical tubing on the outside of it just to uh, make this wire a little bit more insulated. That way, if we have any battery problems, it doesn't fry and short out as easily. But we have a connector going from right here to here, from the negative here to the positive, and then up here we have negative to the positive, the negative to the positive, and you can see it switches sides, so when we get to the end we have a 24 volt battery setup, or a 7S setup, which is like 27.9 volts or something like that, fully charged. Um, actually, I'll do the math really quick. Uh, 4.2 volts is completely charged. We'll times that by 7. 29.4 volt system when it's completely filled up. But anyway, I got all that hooked up for just the battery leads, which come out of the end of the box right here. And then this other giant mess of small wire is for the battery management system, which is going to help charge the batteries more efficiently and keep them balanced out. Uh, the setup that I have is only for charging. You don't run the bike's power straight through it. But uh, it should keep the batteries you know, charged up. Uh, I, there's an auto shut off for uh, if the voltage gets too low, uh, low on the controller itself, so that should protect me there. I'm also looking at getting a, uh, a little uh, battery manager screen thing to... to um, know the voltages in between the cells as I'm writing. But anyway, the BMS, which is a 7S BMS, you think it would be a little tricky to hook up, but I managed to work my way through the uh, Chinese instructions, and they made this one pretty easy, because you have a, a positive, a negative, and then six wires in between that. So the positive here will go on the positive lead of the battery where, you know, the same lead that comes out over here, same lead that comes out and goes straight to the uh, control box. The negative, likewise on that side, it'll go to this negative lead here. And then the rest of them go in the middle in the order they go across. And I connected all of the white ones to the negative leads going all the way across this. So this one right here would be the one right, in, this wire right here would be the one right next to the positive or the red wire here. Uh, the next one down would be the uh, second, uh, you know, wire number three here, and then the next wire, and the next wire, and so on and so forth across the negative connections there. So that was actually really easy to set up. And then you have the BMS that just plugs right in. Uh, you have the power going to the battery pack here, and the power incoming from the charger. And I think we're going to take this BMS... We're going to put it on a little plastic plate like this and either stash it right in the back corner here or stash it right on the front of the box there. But the main reason why I don't have more of this done because, like, we're almost at the point where we can throw the batteries in it, and I want to throw the batteries in it and run these uh, BMS lines so, A, they're out of the way when i got to swap cells out, and, B, that if they get hot or something, they don't short out on each other. But that's where I'm at with this project right now. Um, I'll show you the uh, what we're doing with the batteries. So.
So this is the part of the project that's been taking the longest time. Uh, I got all, about 50 of these uh, Samsung cells here. They're all the same type of cell. And as you can see, I've been discharge testing them and writing down their amp hour capacity. Uh, I have the machine running right now. Uh, the problem is, is I only have two, a two slot battery tester. Uh, both of these are in discharge testing right now. You can see the amp hours on there. But what this does is it charges the battery up. Then it does a one amp discharge test on the battery. And then it charges it back up again. So it takes about eight hours to do this. And I've been at it for about a week right now. And it should probably take me the rest of the, uh, the next week to get these done. And then I can do the pack. Uh, another thing I need to order is a charger. But I think that'll be uh, a pretty quick get. But that's all I have for you guys this time. Uh, if you want to follow me on Twitter, my Twitter idea is at thriftstorehack. And until next time, build stuff and have fun.